Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's video, we've got to talk about an amazing update for the world of optical media and what that could mean for the future of Blu ray. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel today. In this video, we're gonna cover a new announcement by a company called Folio Photonics. A lot of you guys sent me links to this article in this press release that came out just about a week ago. And so I wanna to touch on this, talk about this new technology, explain what it sort of means for physical media and Blu-ray, and why I really don't think there's gonna be a huge threat to the future here of physical media, but where some of the benefits could come from this new tech. So the new technology was announced by Folio Photonics and basically what they've been able to do is create a physical media, optical media disc, just like a CD, DVD, or Blu-ray that's able to store up to one terabyte of data. Now, if you don't know what a terabyte is, it's basically 1,000 gigabytes. Now, the biggest optical disc that's out there right now is the 4K disc, the 4K UHD disc, which can hold 100 gigabytes in a triple layer setting. A lot of your 4K discs can only hold 66 gigs in their dual layer discs, and a lot of Blu-ray discs only hold 50 in dual layer formats. So to go from 100 gigabytes to one terabyte on an optical disc means we're getting 10 times the amount of storage as a possibility here. This disc is going from three layers up to 16 layers, and it's supposed to be as cheap as $5 a terabyte for storage. Now, some of the articles online have been labeling this as the Blu-ray killer, that this is going to be the next physical media format, Blu-ray is dead, but I really don't think that's going to be the case. Now, theoretically, this could be a new way for movie studios to package movies. It, it could happen, I don't think it's going to, but with one terabyte of data, think about this. You could basically take the entire Halloween franchise from John Carpenter's original in 1978 all the way up through the Rob Zombie remakes and the new Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends uh, trilogy. You could take all of those movies and you could probably fit them on this one terabyte disc with solid 4K transfers, given that each 4K is gonna be 70 to 80 gigabytes. So yeah, ostensibly you could, you could do that. It theoretically is possible. I could also see this being used for TV shows. You buy TV box sets and they have dozens of discs sometimes, or you know, 10 or 12 discs on DVD or Blu-ray. You could probably fit entire shows that were shot in HD on one terabyte of data. You could probably fit them on a single disc or worst case, two discs. And if there was a studio like Sony who wanted to do a Columbia Classics set and say they wanted to put six or seven 4K movies out there in very high resolution, high quality transfers, yeah, you could fit that entire box set onto one disc. But here's why it doesn't make sense. First of all, what's going to play those discs, right? Is anything able to play those in a format that a consumer, the average home entertainment person could consume. I don't think so, right? Our 4K players right now are already having enough issues playing 100 gigabyte discs. And I think it's largely due to the fact that the optical media progressed a little bit faster than the players could. Some of the better Panasonic players that are very expensive, the Reavon players that are very expensive, they can handle 100 gigabyte discs, but the cheaper Sony players, the cheaper LG players, some of the gaming consoles, they have a really hard time with just 100 gigs in the triple layer discs. And that's really the issue. So now if you want to introduce a 60 layer disc with one terabyte of data you'd have to create an entirely new player which we know there isn't really a market for and I don't think even the best players out there right now with the best processors would be able to handle that well given that we're having a hard time with one tenth the size and one fifth the amount of layers now the other thing is that physical media sales of 4k really don't warrant this going any higher could this be the disc format that's used for 8k movies like of course it could but the amount of movies where 8K even makes sense is so minuscule and the market for that would be so minuscule that it really doesn't ever make sense to turn this into a consumer product. The sales wouldn't be there. It's hard enough to get 4K sales right now, 
The format's been out for six, almost seven years, and we're just cracking 10% of the shrinking physical media market. So it's very niche, and to take this a next step and a next level further with a new format just isn't going to fly in today's world. Now, some people said, well, this could be a great way to get uncompressed movies, because if you don't know, even your 4K discs are heavily compressed. They are less compressed than streaming, and they're less compressed than 1080p Blu-ray, but they're still heavily compressed. Most estimates say that about an hour of 4K video that's shot in a cinematic film setting takes up about five terabytes of data. So this doesn't even open the opportunity to say have a totally uncompressed version of a film, nor would you really be able to tell the difference. The human eye is only so good. So it doesn't make sense to do totally uncompressed movies. The files are way too large. A two hour movie is 10 terabytes. And then you're talking about a $50 disc just to break even. There just isn't a market for this. Where the market for this disc really exists, it's in the archive world. It's at the uh, museums or the Academy of uh, Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Um, it's for record labels. It's for you know places that need to archive thousands and thousands and thousands of terabytes of data. This makes this a much more viable option than a hard drive or especially a solid state drive because of the cost. You can get 10 terabytes of data from this company for $50, and $50 right now would only get you about two terabytes on a regular hard drive. Where I could see this being useful if consumer electronics and PCs can read these disks is for those who are building home media servers. If you're building a Plex server, if you have an NAS system, storage can get pretty expensive. You're probably spending hundreds of dollars to get 20 or 30 terabyte systems, which, you know, for a collection of my size, that's roughly what I would need. I would need 30, 40 terabytes or more. And that can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars versus here, they're saying that allegedly they could give you 10 terabytes for $50. So that becomes a much more attractive option for the home media servers uh, enthusiasts out there, but it also makes way more sense for archives and that's really the market they're going after. Don't ever expect to see a one terabyte disc be packaged. I wouldn't even expect to see 8K discs to be totally honest. So I don't think this is a Blu-ray killer. I don't think this is a new physical media format. I don't think you'll ever see a consumer release of a movie put out on this type of disc because the market isn't asking for it. The electronics and the players can't match up to it. And it really just doesn't have any benefit. 4K is about as good as the human eye can see and adding more terabytes and gigabytes of data to those movies are not going to make a difference to basically anybody on earth who doesn't have Superman vision. So those are my thoughts on that. A lot of you guys sent it to me and wanted me to talk about it. So here you go. Um, you know, I just don't think it's something that we have anything to worry about or even be looking forward to in the future. This is also just purely concept. I don't think anybody's actually seen these discs. This is a pretty small startup. They're claiming to have sort of leapfrogged like all these other major storage and archival uh, companies. We'll see if it even happens. You know, anybody can come out and say, I've got a rocket that can fly to the moon in two minutes and claim they can do it and you know 10 years later we've never seen it you know so we'll see what happens with this but definitely nothing's changing in the immediate future i don't think anything would change it would take decades for something like this to even come to market and be viable for people so you have nothing to worry about with your collections right now blu-ray and 4k they're here to stay for a very long time. If you want all the latest from my channel, make sure you follow me on social media. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video here on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out all the other links down in my description for partners and the way you can support me by supporting them. I really appreciate that. But thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll talk to you guys soon.